hello everyone i am ashwar raj singh as we all can see that i have made an animation on volcanoes before we learn what is volcanoes we will first understand why it erupts why a volcano erupts this i will explain by taking an example let us say that you are trapped for in a room with full of vacuum no air then what is the common experience that we will feel that is first thing heat it will be very hot inside we will start feeling hot inside if no ac is there no fan is there air is not coming very hot will be inside second thing is pressure very much pressure no air your blood pressure will increase same is the case with the interior of earth it has it also has no air no air is there no opening is there so it has great amount of pressure very much pressure and heat also so if there is no opening where will the pressure go where will be the heat go so so the enormous amount of pressure is not able to escape neither the enormous amount of heat the heat is very much and the rocks are bad conductors of heat so the heat starts melting the rocks starts melting the rock and it builds up great pressure this pressure forces the heat to find an escape route through rocks cracks in the rocks and fissures of course if there is no hole so it will find through an crack this is the first cause why why a volcano erupts secondly the second cause is plate tectonics we have studied about this theory in the in the previous chapters i am repeating plate tectonics is states that the whole lithosphere is divided into movable plates the plates can move the plates can slide it is all plates when these plates come in contact and slide past each other or collide against each other intense due to the intense heat inside the earth's core their edges uh, produce cracks faults uh, along the lines of weakness and along these plate boundaries the crust is weakened and the hot magma found an escape route it erupts uh, in the form of a volcano and i would also like to state that these forces only cause earthquakes these forces are only responsible for the earthquakes products of volcano are not in our in our course so we will not study them structure of a volcano is not very compact it's very easy it's like a opening opening which allows the magma inside the magma chamber to come out it's just this at the base at the bottom there is a magma chamber and the magma comes out through a vent which is a pipe like structure now we will see the types of volcano there are usually three types of volcanoes active volcanoes dormant volcanoes and extinct volcanoes first one is active volcanoes these are the volcanoes which are presently in active state they can become active at any time any time they can uh, become active unpredicted they are un their eruption eruption is unpredictable or they have uh, erupted in recent past now what is dormant vol volcanoes which is just the opposite of active these volcanoes have not erupted in the recent geological period and now what is extinct volcanoes these are the types which have not erupted in the present geological period and are not likely to do so so these were the three types of volcanoes today we have studied about structure of a volcano the causes of volcano and what and now uh, the effects of volcanoes uh, is uh, there in my ppt please refer to that thank you jai jagat bye